Hi, and welcome to Brainstorm Puzzles and back to the Sudoku Tudes set of puzzles, this being Sudoku Tudes set six, and this being a variant puzzle called Central Meeting, another puzzle by Bremster. I do remember working on this one a little bit with Maggie, um, but um, this one ended up being mostly a Bremster puzzle. Um, but again, this puzzle is a couple of months old. I've actually gone back through and looked at the testing results of the puzzles in this Sudoku Tudes set, and a the testing ratings have been a little bit higher than expected. So this is probably one of the harder Sudoku Tude sets um, that's actually been done. Um, the Sudoku takeouts have also been ramping up in difficulty a little bit. So I'm going to try and put some effort into bringing the difficulty back down. Um, I know that I've been keeping them still like at the 25 minute range, 20 to 30 minute range, but that's probably a little higher than I want the average to be. Um, I do want them to be normally solvable in like 15, to 20 15 to 20 minutes um i want a lot of them to be doable in i mean the occasional outlier is fine but i don't want them to all be that hard so um, i'm going to try and bring them back down a little um for the people who like solving them i i do want these to be uh yeah to be approachable is the word to use Let's have a look at Central Meeting by Bremster. There'll be, of course, be a link below to um, this puzzle where you can try it for yourself, as well as to all of the places where Sudoku Tudes are published. Um, let's have, go through the rules. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then we've got arrows. Digits on an arrow must sum to the digit placed in that arrow circle. Now there's nothing, um, it, I haven't stated in the rules, but digits are allowed to repeat on arrows. So there's there is nothing stopping those two digits being the same. Um, because there's no rule stating that digits can't repeat on arrows, there's nothing stopping them from repeating on arrows. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So let's start with some Sudoku. I can see six is not able to be in those. That's a two. Six can't be there. So this is a six. Um, seven and seven means seven's in one of those two. Seven is right here by Sudoku. Now, what? These are definitely interesting. Like the minimum these could be is two and three. And the minimum those can be is two and three. So with those being a minimum of two, three, they have to be at least five. So this has to be higher than five and it can't be six or seven. So this is eight or nine. But with this being at least five, this can't be any higher than four. So this is one, two, three, and this is the same. This is at least five. If this was higher than four, we'd be adding something higher than four to five, and this would need to be higher than 10. So this is one, two, or three. And it can't be a two. One is not in any, oh, one is not in any of those. One is in one of those two. Two's not in any of those. If I don't, two and three is not on any of these. There must be a one on this. If there was no one on this, the minimum this could be would be four and five because no one, no two, no three. This would be four, five. That would have to be a zero to keep that to be the highest digit it could be. So there must be a one on this arrow, which means there's no one on this. And the minimum it could be is one four, which is five. So this can't be any higher than four. So this is one, two, or three, and it can't be a two. And it can't be a three, that's a one. So this isn't a one and that's a one. That's interesting. So this digit is two less than this digit. So if this is a four, well, this can't be a four because if this is a four, this would be a six. Five, seven, six, eight, or seven, nine. All seems to work. Eight is in one of those two because of Sudoku. Minimum here is three. 
one is not well, one is not in any of those I, it's got to have be to do with these bends i don't remember this at all if i don't put a one on here if i don't put a one on this arrow if i don't put a one here what's the minimum it could be it can't include a two it could include a three it couldn't include a four the minimum would be three five which is eight which would mean this would have to be a one to keep that to be a nine, but I can't make this a one. So there is a one on here, but it's not here. This is a one, which means this isn't a one. This is a one, which means this isn't a one. In fact, one is in one of those two. If this is a three, does that stay low enough? Three, three, two could keep that to a nine possible. Minimum here is three. So the minimum of those sum two is four. So the maximum that could be is five and it can't be one, four or five. So this is two or three. So these sum to a maximum of four. So this, yeah, has to be at least three. But there's no one on this. Hang on, this can't be six, seven or eight. So it's nine, the next lowest digit it could be, it'd be five, four, or three. Now it can't be three or four, because to be three, this would have to be one, two, and it can't be. And it can't be four, to be four, this would have to be one, three, and it can't be. Now to be five, this would have to be two, three, and it can't be, because it can't be one, four. This is a nine. So nine, it can't be one, eight. If it's two, seven, it's two, seven, in that order. If it's three, six, it's three, oh, it can't be three, six, because there's a six. And if it's four, five, it's five, four. That's the only possibility. And here, this sums to nine. If it's one, eight, it's one here with eight here. If it's two, seven, it can't be, it can't be three, six. If it's four, five, I think it's in either order. Well, if this isn't four, five, this has to be four five because i can't put four five there i can't put four five in either of those so if this wasn't four five that would have to be both four and five this is four and five so there's no one there and there's no eight in them either this is four five and these are one, two, or the nine makes this the eight now. And these are one, two, three. There's no two there. So there is a two on this arrow and two digits that sum to six. Well, that's not a one. That's a two, three pair. That's a one. So these sum to five. So to get to to get from five to eight, this is a three, this is a two, this is a three, which means this is a one and those digits have to sum to seven. They can't be one six. They could be two five. They can't be three four. These are two and five, which means this is a four, which means this is a five, which means that's a four and that's a five. The eight means this isn't an eight. The one means this isn't a one. These are actually two and nine, which means two is in one of those two because I can't put two in any of those or any of those. So the minimum that could be, it can't be a one, it can't be a two, it can't be a three, it can't be a four, five, it can't be six, seven, it could be an eight. This is either five or eight. If this is an eight, this would have to be a one and it can't be because eight, one to sum to nine. This is absolutely a five, meaning that's the two, that's the five, meaning that's the nine, that's the two. This is known now because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. That's an eight. Meaning eight is in one of those two. But this quadruple is probably interesting because one, two, three, four, six, nine. So those two digits need to sum to whatever that is. Now the minimum that could be is seven. So that has to be nine. And these need to sum to nine. Well, if there was a four on this, I'd need a five and there's no five available. That's three, six, that's four. Five and four sum to nine. So there's no five here. 
one, one, well, this can't be a five, so that can't be a seven. And the nine looks across, meaning that's the eight. And one, and eight is two plus six. And these are known one, two, three, four, five, two, and seven. And the seven is looking down, making that the two. And this is the seven. So this is a three, six pair looking across, making that the two. Eight is one, uh, one and two is three. Eight minus three is five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these are three and nine. The nine is looking down, making that the three and that the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are five and eight. So these are two, seven, and nine. And two can't be in either of the outside cells. So that's the two, and these are a seven, nine pair. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a seven. I could have got that from this box and made it, making that a three. These, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven and eight. So these are one, four, and nine. The one comes out of here. The four comes out of here. The one comes out of here. That's a nine. So that's a four and that's a one. I don't remember this puzzle at all, but I'm really enjoying it. That's an eight for the column. So these are two, three, and nine. There's no two there. There's no two there. That's a two. This is a three, nine pair. So where do I look now? This nine looks down, making that the seven and that the nine. So in this column, I've got one, two, three, four. I need, I've got five. These are five, six, and eight. Well, the seven looks up saying that's not the seven. That's the seven. These are five, six, and eight. Must contain a six. The five comes out of there. The six comes out of there. That's the six. And now the eight looks across, making that the five. Yeah, these are five, eight, and that's the eight, and that's the five, because it was five, six, eight. Six couldn't go in either of those, so that's the six. This is the five, eight, and the eight makes, right, that does resolve cleanly. So one, two, I need to put a three in here. It's not in any of those, so the three is in one of those. I need to put a four in here. It's not in either of those, so the four is in one of those. The four is looking down saying not there. That's the four. So this is a triple, three, eight, nine. There's no nine in any of those. That's the three, eight, and the eight makes that the three, that the eight, that the nine. The eight makes that the seven and that the eight. The nine looks across making that the three and that the nine. This row is missing its six, which makes this the three, this the six, this the three. This box is missing its eight and its nine, and I'll use that eight to make that the nine and that the eight. That was fun. Yeah, over a month old, and I would have tested this under another name, and that would have been when my tester tested this. That was fun. I really enjoy the way those arrows worked. I don't remember making this. I vaguely, well, I, I don't remember the logic I put into it. I vaguely remember sitting down with Maggie and Maggie turning around and saying, what if Arrows did this? And then we we played with some of the logic of how that worked. And we just try and do things to force stuff. And we have fun. And then we publish. And if you enjoy the puzzle, people are still telling me they're enjoying the puzzles. So we're going to keep doing it. And even if they're not, we're probably going to still keep doing it because we're having fun. And this, I, I, I'm doing this because I'm having fun and I'm having fun. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying it all. And as always, good luck with your solving.